Hi, I'm Jamie Dunbar, and welcome back to the Dunbar Dog Diaries, the Puppy Next Door, Sibley Edition. This is the final video in this nine-part series, working with Sibley and his puppy biting problems. So, if you want to start from the beginning, you can click on the link above to get caught up. Also, if you want to watch all the videos now, you can see them and so much more in our Essential Puppy Training course, linked in the description below. In this video, I'm going to work on getting Sibley to feel really good about being held and handled. I'm going to do this by trading touches for treats and using lots and lots of food treats so Sibley forms a positive association with me and with me touching and holding him. This is so important for all puppies, but especially for puppies that are a little more bitey and difficult to control because they are more likely to get physically restrained and manhandled. Now, as a result, they're more likely to become hand shy, evasive, and defensive around handling. When you have a pup that is already hand shy, you want to use lots and lots of treats and be very careful about not pushing too far too fast. Take lots of breaks and give your pup lots of opportunities to leave and then reward them heavily when they do return to you. All right, let's jump right in. Okay, so I had put Sibley down in his crate for a nap because we'd done some work together. Uh, I gave him a small handful of kibble in his chew toy and uh, left him to settle down, but he did not settle down. He did a lot of crying and he continued to cry even when I was near him and he very eagerly emptied his entire chew toy. So I think he's just still hungry and I think he's too hungry to settle down, but I really want to be using his kibble to teach him to love being handled. So. I think what I'm going to do is have him out and why don't you come around this way and see if I can get him to just relax in my lap and I'm going to give him a lot of food. I'm going to give him a lot of treats and have a good cuddle session with him which will hopefully get him feeling really good about being handled and uh, also fill up his belly so that he can take the nap that I know that he does need. But, you know, if, if Sibley were another puppy, I might just take, you know, two big handfuls and fill up a couple chew toys and put them in his crate and let the, uh, let the chew toys automatically train him to enjoy spending time in his crate. But, I'm not so worried about him spending time in his crate. I'm much more concerned about him enjoying being handled, having his collar held, having his body touched. And so that's where I'm prioritizing his kibble. Off, off, good, take it. Yeah, so here, you know, I'm doing two, three pieces of kibble at a time because I'm not being stingy. I want him to have a big meal and especially when he's just relaxed in my lap, which is so nice, it really lets me see that he feels comfortable. Off. Good. Oop, did we drop it? Oh, thanks for waiting in my lap while I got it. That was nice. Yep, I got more food coming for you. There you go. There you go. So you can see he's really eager for kibble. He is. Very hungry, and that's great for training. But, you know, so long as he's taking kibble eagerly, uh, you know, that's good. The first couple times I met him, he, he wasn't very interested in kibble, and it's hard to get a lot of training done if your doggy is only going to work for high value treats, which are, you know, they're treats, they're junk food. So you don't really want to give hundreds of pieces of uh, cotton candy or marshmallows to your little baby, that's gonna give them a tummy ache. But you can give them hundreds of pieces of well-balanced kibble. Yes, and as you can see, he's really, like this is some of the most time I've spent with him in my lap. It's really settled down. Let's see, got a few more in here before we gotta go restock. Yes, but you're being so patient. Yeah, here you go. Gentle, 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 gentle. 
Yes, and you don't mind being hugged? Mm -hmm. Yep, this is a little, little dangerous. I know how quickly he can go into bitey mode, but he's kind of settled down now and he's focused on the food, but gentle, gentle. Okay, that's all I got. I'm gonna have to get some more. Good boy, yeah, you can get up. You don't have to stay here with me, but if you do like staying here, that's nice too. Yeah. So I think he's still hungry, still on the prowl for some more food. So hey, let's give him more food. Let's show him that cuddling with Jamie is cool. Go get it. 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 Good boy, yeah, there you go. I know, it's kind of a fake out. But once you arrived, the food showed up. You know, and I was showing you how um, I could actively train him to enjoy settling down on his mat, you can do the same thing with his crate. Say, down, down, good. And teach him actively that lying down and being quiet in the crate is what you want. You can kind of do that automatically with a chew toy, but you can also do it actively. But the game plan is to have him hang out with me. So come here, Zippy. Come on. Yeah. Good boy. Over here. Yeah, settle down. Good. Yeah, we're gonna have a little cuddle. Gentle. Off. Off. Good. There you go. Take it. Take it. Take it. Yeah. There's a big handful. Ooh, good boy. Okay. Now I'm gonna kinda, instead of doing one every second or so, I wanna break it down and do like five every five seconds. So he gets used to kind of waiting for a second. Yeah, you know more's coming. Yeah, you do. You do. Here's your ear. I know you're not so sure about that, are you? But that's okay. I'm just, just feeling your ears. Someday the veterinarian's going to want to look in your ears. They're going to say, oh, is there anything in here? Hmm. What about in here? Anything in there? And hopefully there's nothing. Maybe a little wax, maybe a little hair. All right, well, I'm gonna do a bunch more of this, basically until he's not so eager for the kibble, and then I'll know he's ready for a nap. But I don't know if you need to watch all that. See you next time. All right. Okay, so uh, I've got him here in my lap. I've been feeding him kibble, and I was gonna work on maybe seeing if I get him comfortable with kind of being held in some other positions that, you know, are a little less, take a little bit more work to get a puppy comfortable in. So obviously on his back, it feels very vulnerable. And I want him to not, I want him to feel totally confident. And so I've got a lot of food. I'm rewarding heavily and frequently because I know he's lying on his back, he's calm. I'm not holding him here. If he wants to leave, that's okay. But I'm giving him Lots of lots of food and showing him this is okay. And then, hey, do you want to go or do you want to stay? Oh, yes. In fact, you know what? I'm going to have him go. Oh, go get it. Go get it. And then we'll see if we can bring him back to that. But by giving him a little break, give the opportunity for him to say, no, I don't want to do that anymore. But no. He's, he's happy too. Here you go. Ooh, come on. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, I'm barely holding him. What, what's keeping him here is the food. But this is great that we're learning. He's learning to enjoy being handled and cuddled. I want him to love human hands, love being held. He lives with two little girls and I'm sure they would love nothing more 
than to be able to have him quietly settle in their laps. You know what's in this, don't you? Do you know what's in this one? Ooh, yeah. This one's the freeze-dried liver pocket. Yes. Yes, it is. Here, let's see if you can get a little more comfortable. What about this? Whoop, whoop. Now, not long ago, I definitely would not would not have wanted to try and do that with Sibley. Okay, that's getting a little hard and I have done a lot for him. So I wanna take it easy, you know, keep in mind the way that he takes treats is a good indicator of how he's feeling. And so, you know, that he was willing to do it for the food, but it was probably a little bit stressful. So really I should probably remind myself to take it easy and keep it light and comfortable. You know, you don't want to always constantly be making it more challenging. And that's true for obedience, it's true for classical conditioning and handling. So, you know, you push them a little bit and then you take a break and you go back to something super easy. So, we'll keep working that, that line and keep getting him more and more comfortable. All right, see you next time. Okay. So this right here is why it's essential that you don't waste your pup's food by putting it in a bowl. If your pup is motivated by their regular kibble, you can use it to condition your pup to enjoy being held, handled, examined, even cradled like a little baby. The fact that kibble is a well-balanced food means you can give hundreds of pieces of food treats without it being unhealthy. This is the last session we had with Sibley. I feel like we made a lot of progress and we learned a lot about who Sibley is what drives him, and how to manage his behavior. Hopefully, many of the tips and tricks we used on Sibley will be helpful for you if you have a puppy whose biting or energy is difficult to control. We appreciate you coming along with us on this journey and hope you enjoyed it. And we will see you next time. Thanks for watching this video. If you'd like to learn more about dog training and behavior, make sure you visit DunbarAcademy.com to check out our selection of courses, many of which are completely free. If you'd rather watch more of our videos here on YouTube, just click the links to the right. And if you want to follow us on social media, everything you need is directly below. As always, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to click the bell for notifications.